All right, Cam, I know you've said it before. You don't want Pro Bowls, you want Super Bowls. But the fact that you are here with all defensive guys and mm. everyone has said you're going to make everyone sit down and really talk. Has that happened mm. yet? And what is the, the, I guess, the motivation behind that? Um, you know, uh, I wasn't going to draw too much attention to it. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, after the season, you want to just uh, pick up people's brains, see where you can be better, see where we can be better. Um, you know, uh, and I'm all up for suggestions. Uh, obviously, we ended up where we were wanted to be, but uh, you know, I think we're on the right track, and um, a great group of guys that uh, are in the leadership roles that they are. Uh, and I've never heard anything about a, a bad suggestion or a bad idea um, to get us in the right direction. How uh, is it different this year that there is this excitement that so many guys on the defensive unit are coming back and what you guys are able to accomplish in 2019? Man, I just think back to my first Pro Bowl, and uh, I remember being kind of lonely, uh, not having any <laughs> other defensive guys here. Uh, but to see the guys that are here, and they're all very deserving of it, um, you know, I think this is something we can build on. I think it's something that we can have more guys here or more guys uh, earn that, that Pro Bowl nomination and then move on to a Super Bowl. But um, you know, I just I think we got to move up on to the right step and just keep progressing from there. Have you reflected yet on 2019 personally for you? Do you feel like that was your best season or one of? Um, it was a good season. Um, things I can improve on, um, but you know, with those challenges, uh, I want to get better uh, and think uh, 2020 can be a better season for me. Hard to believe, but you are entering the final year of your contract. Uh, I thought you were just going to call me old. <laughs> no, I'm not calling you old. Well, I'd be calling myself old, too. But uh, it kind of is that time. How much do you want to maybe take care of business and be able mm -hmm. to just focus and remain a Pittsburgh Steeler for a little bit longer? I would love to. Um, you know, I love the Pittsburgh Steelers. They've always done right by me. Um, you know, I, I want to be a Steeler for life, and uh, hopefully we can come to an agreement uh, early, later, whatever it needs to be. But um, I want to be a Steeler. I want to be part of this team, and uh, I want to be able to hold that Lombardi um, up for Mr. Rooney. Lastly, here at the Pro Bowl, TJ was talking about Von Miller helping him. Are you one of those guys that helps some of the younger guys here now? No, I don't, I don't <laughs> help any of the younger guys because they're all trying to get my spot. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm picking guys like uh, Bruce Smith. You know, a guy who had longevity in this league, um, who had over 200 sacks and um, took great care of his body. I still remember him from the Little Giants where he would do the intimidation. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I remember thinking that dude's built in, in great shape. So um, I look for guys like Calais Campbell, um, guys who have been, you know, in this game a while um, and ask them, what are you doing to take care of your body? Um, what are you doing in the off season? Um, how are you preparing for games? Uh, you never know where that's, uh, that extra uh, detail can come from. So I'm looking to get better. Um, I still think I'm a young guy in this league where I can uh, make a couple things happen. All right, Cam, thanks so much. Thank you. I'll go grab my walker. <laughs>